Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ness. And in today's video, we're going to work again and building another vacation dream home for a cute villager. If you do enjoy this type of content and let's play videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join our channel because I'd really appreciate having you here. And with that all said, I hope you enjoy the video. While we're on our way there, tell me what your favorite thing is so far about the DLC if you have it, or even about the free update. I am literally over the moon with everything. Like, it is insane the amount of new items that we have, and the amount of interactions, and new ways of kind of performing your daily tasks in this game, and it's just super exciting, and... Honestly, I, I, every single time I try to explain it, I'm at a loss for words because I just feel like there's so much, but it's such like a good feeling of being overwhelmed. So it's really nice. And here we are. Hi, Nico. Hey, good to see you. You should say hi to Lottie when you can. Oh, you're so cute. I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are so adorable. Good morning, Ness. Good morning, Ordell. You are so precious. What's up? Are you looking for some work? I'm ready to work. Okay, then please change into your uniform. Oh, that's so quick. All right, you look like you're ready to go. Now let's see. I think you've got a handle on how vacation home design works. Your next lesson is sales. I'd like you to get out there and promote our vacation homes. Last time the client came to our office, but the truth of it is you can't depend on walk-ins. I want you to chat with the vacationers on the island and offer our services to them. You'll do great. It's not that hard. Folks will buy anything if you convince them they need it. Trust in yourself and go with the flow. You'll be making deals in no time. Good luck out there. Hi, Wardell. I love you. <gasps> Look at this orange juice. You think I can buy this right now? <gasps> I'm gonna buy it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this mirror is nice too. And this little owl clock. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna go. Okay. You're starting on your next job, yeah? Well, Nico's here to help. Look over there so many people visitors like to hang out on the beach over there and who can blame them so they've come all this way they're soaking up the vibes they must be thinking vacation home all right let's see all you have to do is look in their eyes and it's almost like you can read their minds yep the ones who are dreaming of living in paradise have it all written over their faces well when you're ready to make your pitch all you need to do is try talking to them good luck fitness every day anytime that's what i want and then, I think green furniture is what I need to feel refreshed. <gasps> Stew! I just want my I just want my nose to be hugged by the smell of trees. Oh my gosh, he's just kicking the sand. What do you want, little birdie? Oh, okay, nothing. Cool. Okay. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna talk to Azalea. Pardon me, but who might you be? Oh, you're with Paradise Planning. You know, I've been thinking about having a second home built, just a little vacation place to hide away. I don't suppose you could help me with that, could you? Let's chat. Oh, splendid. I'm so happy this worked out. Oh, leave it to me. I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. She wants a pair of wardrobe, the iron garden table, and the iron garden chair. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now let's decide on the location for your vacation home. Have you given this any thought? A location? I'm not familiar with this area at all. Why don't you suggest one for me? Well then, we will prepare a location that is simply perfect for what you're looking for. You can check the available plots on that map, Ness. Just choose a location you'd like to recommend and let the client know. Oh, okay, so now we can suggest a location. Okay, each of the tiny islands in this area has its own characteristics. You can change the season at the location by using X. You can also build multiple vacation homes on the same island. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's there. Okay, so... I'm thinking we can maybe, ooh, I don't know, okay, I don't, she's not, she's not giving me the desert type of 
vibe. Oh, I like this. Maybe like one that, or maybe even this. Ooh. <gasps> wow. Let's go with this one. Oh my, isn't that gorgeous? It's settled. That is the place for me. <gasps> it's such a cute little island. Seeing it in person like this, it's every bit as nice as the photo. I adore it. So you found a good location. That's great, Ness. I'll be waiting here till you're done. If things go sour, come talk to me for advice. Oh, if you want to set up the yard as well, just press down to enter decorating mode. Try it out whenever you want to propose a yard design. Look how close we are. <laughs> I am on pins and needles to see what you'll do from here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it so far. Like, it is so much fun decorating and like, it's just like a new prompt in a way because they always have that set amount of furniture that they want to definitely be included in the build. And I think it's super cute. All right, let's get started. So as always, I'm just going to make this into like a little speed build so that it isn't super long because I'm definitely going to take a while to figure out what I really want to do with this room. So enjoy! So for Azalea's vacation home, I focused her room around your greens, beiges, and browns. I wanted a very natural and cozy, homey vacation home for this little cutie. So I also took advantage of including a lot of plants and floral accents to give that beautiful nature-y look and I'm super excited to show you guys the end result because I actually love it and on your second playthrough of Happy Home Paradise, you are allowed to decorate the yard and I didn't know that. Um, but it was so much fun and I loved it so much. It was almost like sort of different i mean it is very different because um you're allowed to fully customize everything from the exterior home colors and the plants the growth stage of the plants and trees different types of rocks and it's just limitless like i love it so much but let's focus on the interior for now since we're not outside yet so far, I built her a little cozy corner where she can watch TV and enjoy and just lounge around. On the right side, I have this little tea time area and also like maybe some place where she can read books and just sit and enjoy some food. <laughs> I don't know and for some reason I also really love placing bikes in their vacation homes because I just assume that like they're literally gonna bike to their nearest grocery store and buy groceries I don't know I can't really fully make sense of what goes through my mind but that's what goes through my mind even though she's literally on like an island that is only accessible by boat but you know it makes sense maybe she can bike on the water I don't know everything's possible anyway so i added the pear wardrobe because that was one of the requested items and i wasn't sure what to really do with it not gonna lie it was kind of like a curveball but i rolled with it and i placed it next to the sort of like more muted green dresser and i think they look super cute together and then I just sort of played around with a few details, including the rugs, because I do think rugs elevate the design in a room by a million times. It provides that really nice contrast in color and sort of in texture as well. And while we're on designing, can I just fangirl over these ceiling items? The ceiling lights and the decor are honestly so fantastic. I am in love with this update purely based off of the fact that, well, I mean, based off of a lot of things, but this has got to be one of my favorite parts. Like adding ceiling decor elevates design by like a million times and it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and true to life. And I really love that. I mean, this game is super, super like, like I played Animal Crossing in during the GameCube days, so this game is very near and dear to my heart. Um, 
very nostalgic too so for me to be able to just like play this now is like really really great and i love it um so i am trying to take it day by day even though it is super exciting and it's just so much fun especially the dlc anyway actually let me know what you guys think about the dlc i know i mentioned it in the beginning but let me know what you think so far i know everybody loves it but i want to hear what you guys specifically have to say just because like i absolutely love the design options like you don't have to waste any materials to do anything it's literally just all with pushes of buttons so that's awesome and here i am getting started on the yard outside and i'm just kind of going through the different times and weather trying to see what type of lighting and mood i want to go for and i settled for sort of like your right before the sunset time during spring and I'm just gonna let you guys kind of enjoy this and I will talk to you guys when it's done. Okay, so we're done and I am really happy with the way that the outside turned out, so let's talk to Azalea. How is my vacation and homecoming along? Is it ready? It's ready!
After finishing your second villager vacation home, you unlock the ability to take a picture of that vacation home that you designed. And you are able to customize what the villager is wearing, what you're wearing if you decide to be in the picture. But I decided to just take a photo of the room itself after changing Azalea's outfit, so I kind of just wasted both of our times. But it's really cute. You get to choose their outfit, make sure if it matches the room or not, and yourself as well. Or you can actually just match the villager too. In this case, I just took both of us out of the picture, so <laughs> this was a little pointless. But it was still fun to do, so I think she's super cute. I gave her a little white dress or a tunic I think it's called, and a little flower, all of that just to make us go poof. Displaying or hiding characters, press in L to hide or show a character. You can change which character is hidden by pressing in L again, or left joy-con. Uh, hiding is not possible with the joy-con controller held horizontally. Alright, so let's do that. And that. <laughs> and let's take a picture. This looks nice. How did it go? Did you get your photograph? Do you think it's a good one? I'm sure you do, dear. I sure did. Oh my, that's so good. Now there's a photograph that I wouldn't be too embarrassed to show others. Ness, thank you for everything today and keep up with the good work out there. Baby Nico at the bottom. Welcome back. How did things go out there? Eh, you know. <laughs> Great. It went great, Lottie. Don't you worry your pretty little head. The client was really pleased with the results. So that's another job well done. Way to go, Ness. Thanks, Lottie. Here's the 6,000 pokey you earned for this job. I kind of wish that I showed the inside of the home too, but I really like the outside, so I'm still happy. Show Lottie that photo you took, Ness. Lottie, take a look at my work. Is this the vacation home you just worked on? Wow, it looks great. Thanks! The client asked us to take the photo and also gave us permission to use it as an example of our work. Oh, how wonderful! You know, I've been using an app to organize information of all the properties we've worked on. Adding photos will make it easier to see what sort of design we use for a given vacation home at a glance. Let's test it out now. Can you pull out your phone so I can send you the app? Of course, Lottie. Anything for you. Yay! Happy Home Network! <gasps> okay, there we go. You can check info on the vacation homes you've worked on at any time with that Happy Home Network app. Now then, can I get that photo you took? I'll try to add it in right away. Eee, it's so cute! House of Green Furniture. Looks like it worked, and I think that the design looks great. Okay, do you want to call it a day, or do you want to keep working a bit longer? I think I'm finished for the day. <laughs> All right, take it easy and rest up. Thanks. All right, let's do a little bit of shopping. This is so cute. It says it costs 2,300 pokey for utility wagon. Uh, I will pass for now. Hi, Wardell. Hello. Oh, he's so, look at his, your hair looks nice today. Are you getting used to the job? What, what, I want to answer you. Ugh, okay, I am. Thank you for asking. Anyway, I think this does conclude our video for today. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play video, and I really hope that you guys liked the design I made for Azalea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or let me know how you decorated her home for her if she was your second villager. As always, thank you so much for being here and spending some time with me today, and I really hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!